Why don't you talk about the time we took all that luggage to the airport in Mexico City? Well, I've been trying to forget that. You've now been trying for about to forget. Fifteen it. years. Well, let's talk about <laughs> it. When you see, when you had a fit in the bus station. Yeah. Well, that was and, a good one. <laughs> Is this the beginning of your collection, or one of the many? It was to one. Mexico? No, it was the first one. The first he, trip to Mexico. And he was poorly you? trained, and we got in the bus station, and he said to Margaret, my daughter, "I'm getting on this bus." I said, "If you get on that bus, you're going to Zihuatanejo. You're not going to Cuernavaca." And he had a fit. <laughs> Cappadocia, we saw that, that skinny little old tree with those evil eyes hanging all over it. Yeah. That was the first time we really knew what those things were and they've been uh, <laughs> hanging out here ever since. <laughs> this photograph of, uh, of Rivera that, that, that just, I've always been partial to his art. Candy bought that at auction while she was at the university, and uh, she outbid one of her professors for the. This is the first mosaic I did, a mermaid on a stand, and this smooth part is really what you want a mosaic to look like. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted this is the ocean, so I wanted to make it look like there were waves and any serious mosaicist would not do this. Now this one has a cello and Eric says he never saw a mariachi with a cello but you have seen it now and this is the Virgin of the Guadalupe and the acolytes and here's the watermelon stand and all the different flowers. This is a tabachinus and the, I don't know I made up what inspired you to start with? Was it Eric's broken coffee cup or his plate or what? No, I so save everything in the house that breaks. I have boxes of things that I've broken so I can use them again. Some people call it found objects. I don't like that name. It's just broken pieces. Well, I can't tell you everything about the mural. You just have to see it. <laughs> well said. I couldn't speak. About well, how did, okay, well, let's just talk about the mural for a minute. First of all, it was probably the only space left in your house. I no, I paint. I put a mural in the bathroom, and you deny you said it, but Eric said you can't be dynamite every day. <laughs> so I decided to put a mural in the kitchen, and he said, no, no, don't do that. Paint the side of the garage. So I did. <laughs> that's the beginning of that mural, which has quite a story. But well, part of it, the first part's the Cadillac bar where uh, Mita Hunt's father and my father and other uh, local gentlemen used to go. That was their favorite place. And Porter ran the Cadillac bar and you had to, in those days, the ranchers had to check their guns before they drank at the bar. This is Nuevo Laredo? Yeah. It'll probably all fade out. Maybe I won't be here. I think this is something Eric designed and this is a book of Calatrava. Is this Calatrava? Let me see. No, this is the Atlas. But these are the big books that we didn't have any place for. Calatrava <laughs> builds great edifices. He is an engineer, imaginative and creative. 
before Candice took up uh, mosaics, she was doing a little bullfighting over there. Candy, uh -huh. tell, them, tell them about the circumstances here. Well, it was really a, such a stupid thing to do. Uh, I went with the students to a little bullfight in Salamanca, Spain, and so they asked for some volunteers and I jumped right in. All of a sudden, I was on the ground. He knocked me completely out and they carried me to the barn and he ripped my clothes and they gave me brandy and I went home and I'll never do that again. Bullfighters are very brave people. Usually all these coins are the dowry that a woman brings uh, to her marriage in uh, Eastern Turkey or Azerbaijan. I saw one in Uzbekistan and the whole dress was coins and the hat was coins and I wanted to buy it. Well, no, until I found out how many coins you need. <laughs> I like to tell people this. This is an Afghan rug and if you look at it, you'll see uh, some helicopters, uh, missile, automatic rifle. This is the uh, end of the 20th century in, in Afghanistan. I think it's, it, you know, moderately attractive and very interesting to, yeah. to consider who was making this rug. And then here's a lot of stuff, this and that. All kinds of textiles, like this. This is a marvelous piece from Istanbul, or India, who knows. An antique Chinese sewing kit. And it belonged to my mother, and I'm very fond of it. This is uh, glass cowls and leaves from Mexico. Uh, I like it better than Eric, but it's here nonetheless. Okay, use your doors. Use your doors if, if you have a lot of space in your house because you can close them and show off things that you really love. Uh, this is a coffee pot in the style of Iznik pottery uh, that we got at, a, at the factory in Cappadocia, uh, which is a, in itself a pretty interesting place. But we're particularly fond of these combination of colors, which are, I think this is a pretty old uh, uh, style of, of pottery. This is a chest that Eric found in a garage sale and bought for me and I painted it. And I enjoyed it and I did it in oils and they stayed in storage for 10 years and nothing was wrong with it, bravo. And look here, I forgot to paint her head and the pot on her head, but I will go back and do that at some other time. This belonged to Mita's, Mita Butler's um, mother, and uh, it's one of my very favorite pieces. See, if you go great places, you get great things. This is first place setting. This is a calla lily. You can use chicken salad with lettuce leaf underneath. And in Mexico, it's for two shots of tequila, but you can use wine and a Mexican placemat and a napkin ring of another calla lily. In this set, there are four of these um, flower holders that run down the table, and usually they put callas in it to match this, but you can put anything, as you, you can see here. Matching napkin rings, and these, can, these are shooter glasses, tequila, this is two fingers, most assuredly, or you can use it from wine. This is water, and you could decorate your table with a boat from Potsguaro. And I think every table should have a centerpiece all the time. This particular centerpiece will go with all of these luncheon sets, but it's more fun to make 
separate ones for each occasion. This is Guangdong Chinese Oriental with an orchid. And uh, this is a sculptor from Mexico that my oldest daughter says is gross. So you can put a butterfly here if you would like and tulips for the season. I painted this table. This table belonged to my grandparents. It's a great table because these ends pull out. Then you can push them back. And so I wanted to make a place setting like my plates that have mermaids. And I wanted to teach my children how to set a table. However, I taught them wrong because I put the spoon on the left side of the knife instead of on the right. So much for teaching anybody anything. <laughs> it's a holder for the Eucharist, for the bread of heaven. And uh, so I bought a little one. I found a little one for all our teeth, even Eric's teeth, which are pretty big. <laughs> and these are fireplace decorations. Um, I don't know what they're called, but that's what they are. And then underneath here is a kimono. One time I wore it to the opera Madame Butterfly, mm -hmm. and I went outside and smoked a cigarette, and everybody thought it was Madame Butterfly talking at the intermission. <laughs> and this is an extra special piece, this one. Oh, it's turquoise and amethyst. And it's, uh, I believe it's Fatima. Or it could be, the, maybe it's just the virgin with the crown in the race one dart. And I, this is junk, but I just love that. It's the biggest diamond I ever saw. It's the biggest diamond I ever had. Uh, this is a Charles Umloff, and it was, uh, he did a sculpture of my mother and my brother while my mother read Charlotte's Webtoon. My brother uh, didn't like it. Ah, what a foolish boy. This is O. Henry's secretary, and I came, I inherited it from Mary and Pauline Goldman, and they had it because their father, Herman Goldman, um, went down to jail and got his friend O. Henry out. And when O. Henry went to New York, he gave Mr. Goldman uh, his secretary. And they also gave me these, um, they're China, but they also gave me all these gold bound volumes of William Shakespeare. It is from uh, Mitchell Khan. Uh, it's a wedding we peel, and I got I bought it from Ronnie Driver, who was famous in the folk art department. Shopping internationally is always fun, especially in bazaars, because they have better things, more interesting things. They have great jewelry. They have great clothes. These candlesticks came out of my mother's house, and they're great for hats. They're great to hang hats on, I think. They're just great hats. Okay.